Just kidding. Welcome to this tutorial on descriptive statistics with Excel. Hello. Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate to you how to undertake descriptive statistics using Excel. The Excel that I am using is Mac Excel 2016. First of all, make sure that you can see the formula bar. You can do that by clicking on view and clicking on formula bar. That will give you the formula bar. This Excel sheet is a dummy sheet. I downloaded and modified the data set. The first column gives the names of healthcare providers and the second column gives the number of patients attended to a certain clinic. So how do we undertake descriptive statistics on this data set? First of all, ensure that you have the analysis tool pack add-on installed. To do, to do that, go to tools on the menu bar and then click on Excel add-on add-ins. And then you will get a dialog box like this and then click on analysis tool pack. This will add the data analysis tool to your toolbar under data to undertake analysis for descriptive statistics click on the data analysis button this will bring the data analysis dialog box it provides options for different statistical analysis if you choose descriptive statistics and click OK it will bring the descriptive statistics dialog box now choose the input range that is essentially this B column so that will be dollar sign B colon dollar sign B that will select the whole of the B column and we are grouping it by column and the and we have a label in the first row so if you click on that one this will be taken out of the calculation then what we want is summary statistics if you click uh, this radio button and then we have to decide whether we want the results in a new worksheet or whether we want the results to appear in this worksheet. We could um, choose to have the results output in this worksheet. So here I clicked on that radio button and then click here to choose a area where we want the results to appear. So now we have done that. If we click OK The calculation is being done and we should get the results in this space that we have allocated for the results to appear. That's what that has happened. Let's take a closer look at the results. It gives us the mean, the standard error, the median mode, the standard deviation, the variance, the range, minimum, maximum, and um, the sum and the count so pretty much we have had the descriptive statistics done in Excel without much hassle the other assignment I had set you in the exercise was to find out how many missing uh, data are in this data set that wasn't provided in the descriptive statistics that we performed to do that, 
what we have to do is to count the blank cells. To do that, it's useful to find out how many rows of data that you are expecting. So here we see that the first row has the data label. And what we want to know is what's the last row. The easy way to do is to highlight a cell and then press shift control and the down key that will take you to the last cell and the last cell is five five thousand two hundred and ninety two so we have got data in five thousand if we exclu exclude the data label then we should have data in five thousand two hundred and ninety one rows there are two ways of finding how many missing data one is now knowing that how many rows of data we have, we can use the function count A to find out how many cells in the second column has values, are not empty. Then we can take that number from the number of total rows that will give us the missing value. The other way is to highlight this column with the values from B2 to B 5292 and then count the blank cells. So that's what we will do. So we have already typed the label number of missing values and we want the results to appear in this cell. And what we want to do is to count the blank cells. To do that, highlight the cell, then go to the formula bar, type in an equal sign, and then press, uh, type in count blank. And here, the count blank, highlight the first cell that you want um, the range to extend from, that's B2, and we know from previously that the last cell in this column is set B5292. So that highlights this column with the area where all the values should be. Then if you click this enter button, which is just a green tick, then we get the answer. So there are 966 blank cells in this data set. So in summary, in this tutorial, we looked at how to use Excel and the data analysis toolbar to undertake analysis for descriptive statistics. We also looked how we could find out how many missing values we have in the data set using the count blank function. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for your kind attention and wishing you a good day. Bye for now.